Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We are in Cambodia. Wow. Yeah, we're in Cambodia. Siem Reap. That's, That's what I was going to I was going to say Siem Reap. We're in Siem Reap, Cambodia, and we are going to see the temples of Angkor Wat. Now, Angkor Wat is one temple in a myriad of temples. And the word Wat actually means temple. So there's many Wats. Yeah. Angkor Wat is one of them. So people say the Angkor Wat area and they're kind of talking about an entire group right. of Wats. But Angkor Wat's like the main one that people seem to recognize more. Yeah. So let's go. New day, new temples. Glad you're along for the ride. We're starting the northern route at Tassam. Uh, I love the entrances of some of these places. Some of them have walls that go all the way around, as you can see to the left and the right, and they have the entrance. And the entrances are sometimes very grand and sometimes just basic. And this is the back side of the gate. All right, we've got quite the hike over the, what's left of this bridge to get inside the main entry of this one. But it's beautiful. It's like there's trees all over within this one. It's really gorgeous. And there's lots of shade. The bright sun and then the dark shade, it makes seeing some of these stairs a little more challenging as you get up to them. You have to wait for your eyes to adjust before you try to take a step. Temple challenges. Tree over there. Wow, that tree is amazing. They uh, looks like they had to um, secure that one edge of the structure. I love it when you come into one of these entrances and you can see back so far. One thing I've noticed going in all these temples, all the doors are aligned perfectly straight through. So if you can start at one end and go to the other end, it seems like all the doors just align up perfectly and you can see through to the other side. It's pretty interesting. This is a nice temple to walk through because it's so shaded and it's nice and cool and you can feel the breeze and you can hear the, the wind through the trees. It's just, but that wasn't it. We went through the whole thing and there's some more stuff up ahead. Temples never cease to amaze. Just through the trees, you find some more. So the trees and the tree roots here are pretty amazing. And uh, as you've seen, or as you will see, that some of the trees have overtaken some of the temples or, and grown through the middle. But I'm just looking at one of these trunks. I mean, one of these roots that we're standing here in the shade. And check this out. See all the little wigglies that have made their way through there? It's pretty cool. You can see that this east gate is completely enveloped by this tree. <laughs> That's so neat.
All right, just 40 more temples to go. Hang in there, you're doing so well. All right, here's Neek Pong. And this is a popular one. There are a lot of people here, but we gotta walk across the lake on a bridge. This is that big man-made lake. It has this long wooden bridge to go to the middle. And all these lily pads with uh, lotus flowers that are blossoming. It's so beautiful. They're gorgeous. This whole bridge is really cool. You can imagine what it would be like at sunrise or sunset with the colors in the distance. We're here pretty much late or mid morning now. So the sun's pretty much straight over us, but it's beautiful. Some of these lily pads have little groupings of these little white flowers. And you can see those ones in the distance too. And over on this side. Pretty cool. Oh, flutter by. It's more of a water temple, looks like. Okay, this area is really cool where they have kind of a serpent coming out of the water. And I remember, I remember bits and pieces of people who'd been able to go to the museum when it was open about describing what the meaning of this is. Um, and it's now kind of reminding me because, you know, walking around the corner and seeing this all pretty much surrounded by water. This seems to be an area where the locals come. It is a Sunday, but it seems to be a, like a, almost like a national park place for people to go and enjoy their weekend at is kind of the impression that we're getting. A lot of families and people just kind of hanging around and enjoying their day off together. Yeah, it looks like somebody went through the gate over here to Lay some bananas and other fruit. And there's some incense. This is a pretty, pretty neat area. It's just different. It's completely different than some of the other temples we've gone to. At least so far. Just, it all, it's, there's just a walkway all the way around some of these structures in the middle of the, the water. Looks like a shrine that's in operation. Yeah. Now we get to walk back across the lake. Well, the rain found us. So he's sealing up the tuk-tuk a little bit. <laughs> Just the front. Yeah. So it doesn't like hit us in the face, I guess. Yeah. But everybody who has the business on the side is lowering their stuff and yeah. The rain actually feels pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's been very, very muggy today, so I don't mind yeah. a little getting wet. It's just, yeah. It'll cool us off. It'll cool us off and it's a warm rain, so it's not like we're gonna get cold. But we're not in Siem Reap anymore. We're on the outskirts. This is a town that's outside of Siem Reap. Look at all the kids, all the school kids. It's only 11 o'clock. They get out early. Oh, they're all getting ice cream. Good long ride. Yeah. You can really see the countryside on some of these further out temples. Well, and that we're taking this tuk tuk, it you 
really get, you get to see more because number one, you're not going as fast. So, and you're kind of, I don't know, anytime, any, any motorcycle riders out there, or bicycle riders, you're, you feel more at one with what your surroundings are. Yeah. So we see these big, like every once in a while we'll see a big tour bus going by. And it's like, oh man, what a shame for them. Yeah. <laughs> They're missing out. They're stuck in a bus. Yeah. It's just having the open air is just yeah. And the so rain. Cool. And the rain. Yeah. It's just, you know, all right, we've gone about 40, 45 minutes out to Bantai Srei Temple. Um, this looks like a good structure. It looks like a big temple area because it's got a lot of support. I mean, there's there's a big ticket office right there. That's what the ticket offices look like. There's a huge parking lot, but there's nobody here. So it's gonna be nice. We're gonna be able to see this thing pretty much to ourselves. Yeah, this is gonna have quite more to it than some of the the last small one we saw wow this has got a whole map to it wow so there's a lot in this area here's cm reap there's anchor watt we haven't been there we're not even on this map we were like, we're like way, way oh, up there, there. <laughs> that's how far away we are right now bante say trey Look at that, that's how far away. And they do have a shopping center right next to the bathroom. So when you're done looking through the temples, you wanna get a, some, something to eat or some clothes or whatever. But there's the entrance to the temple grounds. Yeah. Thousand year old street. Look at the carvings on these things. It's rock. How in the heck? This one's pretty big. Oh, wow. The little tiny entry. They've built um, these wood planks. So this part over here is cordoned off, but look at this building behind. That's really pretty. And there's lots of carvings up and around here. One of the guys that was near the entrance of this section asked us if we wanted a guide. And I think that one of the guys at one of the last ones that we just started talking to, he was in a much simpler dress, like just like collared shirt and pants. This guy had um, like dark green with all kinds of stuff all over it. Um, but the guy at the last place just started telling us about things, whereas this one said, do you want a guide? I can tell you more about blah, 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 blah. So I kind of think that, you know, maybe that was like a paid guide he didn't want to just share information he wanted to ask us if we wanted a guide and that there was so much more information to know about the carvings and everything so i suppose i suppose if you know you want to pay extra maybe for a guide they tell you more about the carvings i don't know a lot of the statues have crumbled this looks like it was a maybe a cow or a bull at one time and then there's something right over here who knows what that was but yeah a lot of the statues are gone but I can see see a Buddha in there there are some Buddhas that still remain here's the 
here's the other end. So with this one, you kind of walk in through the front, walk around the sides, and then walk out the back. But it's cool. Beautiful. They have this platform here that you can walk out to and it overlooks the rice paddies. There's a cow over there with some kind of a tinkling, it's not, doesn't sound like a bell. Just a little noisemaker. But he's going to town on some kind of grass up on the little walkways above the rice paddies. This place has a lot of information. Um, here's a board on the chronology of temples and everything else that was built around that time so yeah this has this place has a lot more structure to it so I'm gonna go take it and enjoy this area well we were gonna sit down and eat at the village there but our tuk tuk driver came over and retrieved us we, we were asking if he wanted to come sit down and eat with us but he had a look on his face like he didn't quite know how to tell us something. Yeah. And he seemed eager to go to the next place. Yeah. So we thought, well, okay, we just got up and left. We hadn't ordered anything no. yet. And then when we got over to the Tuk Tuk, he said something about going to a good place. Yeah, so going to a better place so for food. We think that this was his way of saving us from bad food. Yeah. And he didn't know how to do it. All the people there were really trying to get us to sit down and, yeah. at their place. Yeah, and they were not happy when we got up. <laughs> yeah, they weren't so, happy with him. So I don't. I think they're all struggling, and I think yeah. that's part of it. So I get it. Yeah. But I, I also sure. appreciate what our drivers trying to do for us, yeah. which is nice. Save our bellies for something else. So we drove maybe five minutes down the road and stopped at a little place just outside kind of a little village area and there's a restaurant here that he said that we should go to but he gets fed for free I guess by the same restaurant but it's next door it's um, so that's why he didn't want to go eat well we don't know if that's the only reason but it might have just been bad food um, but he said this is a good restaurant and he gets fed for free because he's a tuk-tuk driver bringing them business, which makes sense. So the prices are a little inflated here, we've noticed, but we're probably paying for the tuk-tuk driver in those prices is what we kind of figure. They had a really good menu here, a lot of things to choose from. They also had a lot of Western choices, so obviously, you know, a lot of the Tuk Tuk drivers come here and that's why they cater to them, so I get it. That is so impressive. We're going into Angkor Thom. Wow. Well, you can see the, the wall around this whole compound. This compound is actually larger than Anchor Wat. Wow. Just so impressive. So this is just an area where all small temples exist inside of Anchor Tom. That looks like a major part of the... Yeah, that looks... Because you're walking uh, too hard. But I can see Bayonne straight ahead. 
That's the main temple in Angkor Thom. Yeah. My own. Wow, look at that. Just a lot of beauty in this area. All right, our driver just took us out the south end, south entrance, and wow! Love the entrance to Angkor Thom. You can see the wall, but look at the bridge going across. Look at these figurines. These are just awesome. And then you got this river, and look what's going on in the river, it's just, that is awesome. That is just awesome. How beautiful is this? Gorgeous. Lots of tuk-tuks and cars going through. There's only room for, it's only the width of one vehicle. So everybody's got to take turns going through the The opening over there. Let's see if I can crawl without getting run over. We are going to explore the temple of all temples, Angkor Wat. We want to see the sunset. A lot of people go to Angkor Wat for the sunrise. <laughs> Not us. <laughs> We're going to go at the hottest part of the day, sunset. Angkor Wat closes at 5 and sunset is until about 5.45. So we're actually not going to be in Anchor Wat at sunset. We're going to go to another temple that's open a little bit later so we can enjoy the full sunset experience. Yes. Got some monks. I got the temple straight ahead. Wow. This was the entrance, the normal entrance for the tourists. But you can see in front they're working on stuff. So they've built a new one, a new entrance for tourists over there. So you go in and on the side. But this is the front of Angkor Wat. Wow. And it looks like there's a lake or a moat that goes all the way around it. Yeah, you can read that, right? It says Angkor. Angkor Wat. Yeah, UNESCO. That's what it says. It's kind of hard to read in the shade and sun and all that stuff. So. Oh wow, this is just the gate of Angkor Wat. I can see Angkor Wat coming up. Oh, look at that. And here's the grand reveal. Dum dum dum. All that stuff that was in front was just the wall. Now we're inside the temple grounds. I just wanted to point out these short steps that we're going up and down all the time. 
Okay, you can see my foot. See how it doesn't quite cover the step? I'm a size 11 shoe, so. All right, we're just about the, just about at the end of the outermost area of the temple grounds. We're gonna be heading inside the temple. So we are inside. Look at all the carving up above. Looks like what, it's supposed to be two large pools on either side with a raised walkway in the middle and all around. And looks like a couple more pools in the back. You can tell the wear and tear on some of this. They've done some patching over here. Yeah, restoration. Trying to keep it standing. Well, we were hoping that if we came later in the day that there'd be less people and yeah, we were fighting the heat, but yeah, there was less people. I mean, Most people come when it's nice and cool, well, cooler and, in the morning. Oh, well, they come for sunrise and yeah, no, home eating ain't gonna do that. Yeah, there are thousands of people that show up for sunrise here, which that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. Not my thing, I, I don't know. I'd rather come here and have a little bit more peace and solitude and be able to enjoy the ground yeah. and not have to elbow my way through a bunch of folks to yep. to do it. And unfortunately, you like everywhere, you run into the really noisy, obnoxious tourists. And sometimes the tour guides are really loud too. Yeah. So. But this is our view while we're sitting here, just relaxing. And in the shade. In He's the shade, the yep. spot. with a breeze, because we're up above the wall. So here's the view. All right, looks like we're going up, but first, no hat. You want? Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Of course, it's backlit, so I'm gonna turn this off. It'd be easier to get up. Made it. Those are some steep steps. Okay, we're up at the very top. And this is very much like the lower level. So it probably just housed the VIPs of the temple because it's higher. But this is beautiful. It has the pool area, just like the other one did. Carvings all along the side. Uh, these window grates. But 
Yeah, it's beautiful. This is the center pillar area, the center temple area. That's the top of Angkor Wat right up there. This is a good vantage point to see the canopy, the jungle, the Cambodian jungle, where all these things just sit in. I'm sure there's some out there that haven't even been discovered yet. This is looking out the front from the top. You can see the front gate in the distance with the outermost common area. Of course it's backlit, but yeah. All right, we've been seeing this balloon go up and down. I guess you put a bunch of people in it, they send it up in the air so you have an aerial view of Angkor Wat from a distance. Yeah, I wonder how much that is. Now this inner area is divided by four pools. There's one here, one directly across, and there's one on that side, and then one behind the main temple structure. But with the sunlight, this should show up pretty well. Give you a good idea of the carvings that are still in there. Here you go, here's one still being worshiped. They leave money and light incense. Sometimes fruit. Fruits, flowers. Still amazed by the stone carvings. Just, some of these are so pristine still. It's an impressive structure. It really is. To think that this thing is still standing, um, some of the other temples that you've seen earlier were a lot smaller. This is pretty large, but it's really epic. If you have the chance to come see it, get on a plane, see the world. We are leaving the main building of Angkor Wat. We're getting ready to walk across the large open area through the middle before we go home out the other side. I'm glad we came here. I think total time we will have spent maybe a couple hours, which I think is enough time. We had time to climb up into the upper area and back down and look around. If you think that you would take more time than a couple hours, give yourself enough time where you don't have to worry about it. On uh, one note, this is not for the handicap. No. There's lots of stairs, very steep angled stairs. There are no elevators, no lifts, no ramps. So, sorry. And a lot of times the stairs do not have handrails, so don't expect that either. Wear shoes that you're gonna be able to be comfortable in walking all different kinds of uh, materials and gravel and uh, uneven rocks and all kinds of things. So, uh, yeah, I think it's been nice though. Oh, the breeze feels so nice. Those are the first monkeys we've seen. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> they are all over this area. Holy crap, there's like a ton of them. Yeah, all the babies over there. Yeah. Just easily 40, 50 monkeys. This guy's waiting. Yep. Nope. 
all right as we bounce around in our tough tech going home. That's it for this episode. Hope you're not too terribly templed out yet. But until next week, <laughs> bye. bye. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to go that way. Who knows what's over there? Probably the parking lot. Did I get any stuff on my bum? I don't know. Did you? Well, I can't see back there now, can I? Let me check. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, your bum's looking good. Bum looking good to me. This whole wall is the military military parade of kings. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the what what. What? What what what? I like big booties and I cannot lie.